Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back within the work with Brother Stevie coming out the city of Detroit. Hope y'all doing well this evening. Bless you. Bless your families, your children, your households. Well, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I do have a video I'd like uh, for y'all to take a look at. Now, this video in itself here is going to be somewhat difficult to watch. Uh, either way, brothers and sisters, it has to be shown with the hopes of uh, reaching those uh, in this hour that will understand how precious life is. And also showing the disdain and vileness and hatred towards a fellow man. Part of ministry work is showing the nitty gritty. And Brother Steve is one who believes in the exposure of evil and wickedness in a fallen world. So, before I before y'all see the video, I'm gonna go ahead and read the, the fair use statement, um, and then come back with a commentary. Fair use, fair use. Under Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107, an allowance is made for the fair use for, for purposes such as criticism, uh, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Uh, fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips that balance in favor of fair use. Now also too, brothers and sisters, uh, this video will be biblical studies and transformative in nature. Uh, Let's go ahead and get on with the video, and then once y'all watch it, I'm going to come on back with my commentary. Once again, this is fair use. Uh, fair use. Fair use. All right. Father trying to protect his seven month old baby from a man with a gun. First of all, we want you to know that baby is safe tonight, but Detroit police are certainly dedicating a lot of attention to finding the man behind the trigger. And we are told detectives have taken a person of interest into custody, but they could still use additional help from the public if you recognize the would be shooter. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig explains would likely save their lives. A clerk here at this gas station says a man came running in with a baby in his arms and he was trying to hide. It's just upsetting. It's difficult to watch. I mean, it's just no regard uh, for human life or, or for the life of a child. The gun jamming or somehow malfunctioning is what may have saved this father's life and that of his seven-month-old baby. When Detroit police say this man tried to open fire on them inside a Valero gas station on Tyrement at Hubble early Sunday evening, Father's Day. The father uh, quickly, uh, once he observed it, lifted his arm up and, and fortunately pushed the gun away. He was able to get him outside of the gas station and lock the door. Police say this is a felonious assault and they released this surveillance video today in hopes that someone seeing it could help him identify the would-be shooter. Here he is approaching the gas station in his white tank top, tan bucket hat, and long khaki shorts. What you don't see until he's opening the door of the gas station is the gun he had tucked in his pants. Police say he's after the man holding the baby, who the clerk says had just run inside to hide. So the dad came in here for safety? Yeah, he runs. He, he runs to hide in the gas stations, but he followed him. The dad manages to push the gun away. Thankfully, he and his baby were not shot. And here's a good look at the man with the gun, captured on video by green light cameras. We are asking that the public, if they are able to, or they know this individual, to call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Then this afternoon, just a few blocks away, Detroit police took a person of interest into custody and then obtained a search warrant to look for the gun involved. As for a motive, Detroit police say the men had just had some sort of dispute. About a block away from this location there at Tyerman and the um, and Hubble, uh, he had encountered this individual. It appears they had some type of arg argument uh, unknown at this time. We still are early in the investigation and trying to uh, work backwards. Prior to running into the gas station, the man with the baby sustained some sort of injury to his arm, possibly stabbed or cut. It's definitely uh, upsetting and disturbing to watch uh, the, the, when you look at that video, especially on Father's Day. If you have any information on it. All right, family. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Well, there it is. You know, I'm going to tell you what that what that was. Here it is. You have two men that, for some reason or another, they get into an argument, a dispute, a disagreement, for whatever the case may have been. Now, brothers and sisters, I, the guy who was holding the gun, he looked like he could be somebody's grandfather. But according to the uh, uh, media, uh, this guy was was looking for uh, he was looking for vengeance because of an argument. You know, it's a sad thing that you would have uh, a man of his age look to take out another man with a child all over dispute and disagreement the man's holding a seven his, his son seven months seven months year old guy with the hat the older gentleman he pulls out his gun he fires it doesn't go off The father puts his hands up. I must applaud him on that. Um, I don't like the fact that he had his baby uh, not not constrained or, or something, but for whatever reason, that type of stuff happens all the time in, 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 in places like that. People walking with their children to gas stations. Uh, things happen. Um, rarely do I see people go in gas stations with infants. I just don't see it like that. I see children. Even, even toddlers. I don't see infants. No. But either way, brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you what that was. That was divine intervention. It was divine intervention. Nothing more, nothing less. It was divine intervention from the Most High Ahaya. For whatever reason, that man's life and his son's life was spared. Because on any other opportunity in given time, more than likely, his life, his, he may not be here to talk about the story. But it just goes to show you the level of hatred. The level of hatred. And once again, the man with the gun, he looked like he could have been somebody's grandfather. But for whatever reason, he felt compelled enough to follow this man a block away into a gas station, holding his son, and attempt to take his life over a dispute or a disagreement. Lawlessness. Lawlessness. I pray that that father is counting his blessings. I know he is. And I pray that he, I'm, 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 I'm thankful that he wasn't a coward and tried to use his son to shield that because we just seen that the other day. I don't know if y'all seen it on the news where there, there was a, a, reportedly there was a, a, a story out of New York where a father had his, his son and there was a gang after his son. He took his two-year-old toddler and picked up his toddler and basically set him down on the ground while the gang members were after him. He ran away from his toddler. The gang members took his two-year-old son and put his son in a garbage can. When I seen the story on that, it made me sick. What father would do that? 
What father would leave his son to the hands of his enemies to do whatever they please, especially in the world that we live in now? That's a different story. And this situation wasn't that case, like that guy in New York, that father. At least his father put his hands up and turned his body and tried to shield for whatever was coming. Either way, the man with the gun was ready to shoot the father and more than likely would have hit that baby in the head. Lawlessness, hatred. And some of the older brothers out here wonder why some of these younger brothers don't have any respect for them. You got a bunch of old heads out here who would rather take a life. Two generations would have been wiped out. And for, and for what? Pride. Pride. Man, 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 man. Brothers and sisters, that gun jamming was divine intervention. Nothing more, nothing less. It was divine intervention. It wasn't his appointed, it wasn't that father or son's appointed time. No, it wasn't. And I pray that that father if he's now serving the Most High God, Ahaya Bashim Yeshaya, he come to Christ Jesus quick and fast because his life was spared. Justice, judgment, and repercussions on that other guy. Justice, judgment, and repercussions on him day and night. Supernatural justice, judgment, and repercussions on him. Or anybody else that operates in the mindset of a coward, one who will harm children. All right. All right. Well, brothers and sisters, I appreciate the opportunity of coming to you, coming to you uh, today once again. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's an honor. Um, I thank every single one of you. I want to thank every single one of you for supporting this ministry and blessing this ministry. I'm truly, truly thankful by the Most High God, Ahayah Basha Mishaya, and every single one of you out there. Well, brothers and sisters, that uh, completes this video. Um, I wish you all a, a, a wonderful evening. May a wall of fire, may a wall of fire, the protection be around your, your families, your children, and your households. May the spirit of peace and rest go ahead of you as you travel to and fro in this wicked and evil earth. Spiritual protection and a wall of fire around every single one of you. Protection day and night. All right? All right. Well, family, y'all know what time it is. This is Brother Steve within the work coming out the city of Detroit. I wish you all a, a wonderful evening. Y'all take care. Until next time, Shalom, bless you, peace. Y'all stay up, take care.